Okay, here I have a very simple example of a conditional. On line one, we create a variable called Joyce and set it to hold the number two. Now on line two is when the conditional begins. If Joyce, meaning if the contents of the variable Joyce is greater than five, then we will execute the code between the if statement and the end statement. In this case, that refers to line three, which would potentially print the number 100 to the terminal. Now, one thing to note here is that REPLIT, which is the service that we use to show the terminal and the text editor, has changed the location of their play button. As you can see, it is now up here on top. Let's go ahead and run this code. As you can see, nothing gets displayed in the terminal, and that's because on line two, when it says if Joyce is greater than five, Joyce is actually not greater than five since Joyce is actually two. Therefore, line three gets skipped entirely. Now, you're already familiar with this example from the previous lesson. What I'd like to point out here is that you've probably noticed that I've indented the code on line three. Now, why is that? The reason for my indentation is to make it more visually apparent to whoever reads my code that line three is within the conditional and may or may not get executed depending on whether the condition is actually met. The truth is that this code would work even had I not indented it. Let me demonstrate that. So I'm going to remove the indentation on line three. When I run the code, we don't get any errors and it still works. To demonstrate it a little more clearly, I'll change Joyce to be eight. And when I run the code, the number 100 does indeed get printed to the terminal. So while you technically do not need to indent the code, it is better to do so because again, that makes it more clearly visible to the reader of my code that, hey, that's part of the conditional. Now in this example, that's pretty simple, but when you have many lines of code, the indentation becomes increasingly more important. Also, indentation is expected, so it's actually considered messy to not indent your code properly. Developers will typically expect you to indent your code properly. It's also worth noting that in Ruby, the standard practice is to indent your code with using two spaces. So as opposed to using a tab or possibly four spaces, two spaces is the standard indentation. So one, two, that's how you do it. Now, if there are multiple lines of code between the if and the end statement, likewise, you would indent all those lines too. So if we are going to have P200 and P300, you can see that all three of those lines, lines three, four, and five, are all indented by two spaces to clearly indicate that those fall within the conditional and will only be run if the condition from line two is actually met. Pay careful attention to the indentation as we move forward with future videos as it will continue to be important and play a role in many of the future lessons.